The Sman Diabetes Institute, DDI, is committed to providing continuing medical education and professional development activities. As part of its efforts, DDI recently organized the second Great Evidence-Based Clinical Practice Workshop, Improving Your Patient Care. Sarah Paris Glob has more in this report. Desman Diabetes Institute, or DDI, held the second Kuwait evidence-based clinical practice workshop entitled Improving Your Patient Care. In collaboration with the Kuwait Institute for Medical Specialization, or KIMS, Kuwait University, and McMaster University in Canada. So this workshop has been uh, um, organized for the second time, uh, for the second time now in association and collaboration with uh, Kuwait Institute for Medical Specialization uh, to train the uh, uh, physicians in training in terms of uh, handling the research and publications and be updated uh, and being good critiques in uh, evidence-based medicine. Sure, so uh, the uh, workshop uh, takes place over three days and uh, it has uh, large group presentations and small group tutorials uh, in which uh, uh, the attendees will be exposed to different uh, research methods and research types so, so they can uh, be trained on uh, acquiring critical appraisal skills. So being really uh, judges on how to uh, decide whether the this is a good research versus uh, uh, not so good research. The workshop incorporates learning the essential concepts of clinical epidemiology and critical appraisal skills. Um, in much of the world, people are getting interested in measuring quality of care. It's uh, from what I gathered from the audience, it started in Kuwait, but it will no doubt increase. So we're trying to figure out are your physicians and your clinics and your hospitals delivering optimal quality of care. And there's two basic ways of measuring this quality of care. One is measure outcomes. So let's take heart attacks. So you measure at 30 days how many people have died after their heart attack and you make the inference that if a hospital has more deaths it has poorer quality of care than a hospital with fewer deaths. Another way is measuring process of care. So for instance, randomized trials have shown that um, if you do per per percutaneous coronary interventions, you take people to the catheterization lab, you inject some dye, and you open up closed vessels, that people t do better. Um, so in the process of care, you measure, for instance, how quickly people get to the catheterization lab to have their PCI. We also know from randomized trials that people who receive a number of drugs, aspirin, statins, um, uh, uh, and some other drugs, have lower mortality, and so you can measure whether people got those drugs. And those are called process measures. So we can either measure outcomes, how many people die, or processes, did they get the care that we would expect from other studies lead to better outcomes. And the point I was making is that although intuitively it might make a lot of sense to measure the outcomes, there's a problem with that. Hospitals that have lower mortality, there can be two reasons. One, they're delivering better care, or second, they're seeing people who are less sick, higher socioeconomic status, people who were destined to do better anyway, whether whichever hospital they went to. And it's very difficult when you're measuring the outcomes to sort out which of these two explanations is right. Due to the outstanding success achieved in the first workshop last year, Desman Diabetes Institute has organized the second edition of the event as one of its unique state-of-the-art initiatives in collaboration with prestigious international universities as part of its continued efforts to train and specialize healthcare workers. From Desman Diabetes Institute, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.